I promise that I would marry you no matter what, no matter where, even if it were under an underpass on the interstate. For Melanie Mundy and Daniel Palumbi, love endures in a simple vow, an eternal promise, and an everlasting image. It was about six months into our relationship or so um, that I really wanted to be with her the rest of my life. Whenever penguins find their mate, they have their mate for life, and he, Daniel's my penguin, he's gonna be my mate for life. We're, I'm one half and she's another half, and we're, we definitely make one. But one half didn't tell the other half about a contest, promising something they never thought possible, a dream wedding. I just saw a commercial on E! It was like, enter your vows, like speak to your future like husband or wife, and it's like, oh, maybe I could do that. I didn't even know about writing your own vows or anything until she told me that we were in the semifinals of the contest. It took me a long time to write it. I just wanted to make sure that it spoke true to who I was and true to who we were as a couple. If true love could be cast in concrete. That's, that's my neurologist. <laughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Good. They would be a monument to devotion. I consider myself being, being very lucky to be alive after having a brain tumor, brain surgery, and a seizure and not being able to drive for six months. You were the only person I could count on. Once I knew that she was the one, that I wasn't gonna back down from any challenges in life. He was great with it. The doctors had told me that I don't, they don't know if I'll be able to have children because the place where the tumor was, it controls your hormones. He was really supportive of that. He said, I'm adopted, so it, it doesn't bother me. With all of its simple vows and eternal promises, love isn't a matter of looking at one another. It's about looking in the same direction. Winning this would be the least I could do for you. I cannot wait to be your bride. I love you.